Hello my beautiful YouTube friends. Today I bring you my November book haul. I know it's later than normal, but I had a few books left to come in. They finally arrived. Now, just a couple of words. First off, a lot of these books were bought on sale. They were not the full price. And also, I was not planning on buying this amount of books whatsoever during the month of November. And on top of that, they were bought in like smaller amounts at different points throughout the month. So that is why I ended up with this huge, like, I've got three piles of books. So if you guys like long book hauls, then this is for you. Ferris by Gail Carson Levine, one of my favorite authors. Akimbo and the Snakes and Akimbo and the Baboons by Alexander McCall Smith. Then I got books two through five in the Spiderwick Chronicles by Tony D. Terlezzi and Holly Black. This is The Seeing Stone, Lucinda's Secret, The Ironwood Tree, and The Wrath of Mulgarath. I got A Calm Before Storm by Richard Castle. This is the third graphic novel in the Derek Storm series. And here's an interesting fact. This series has had an artist change for every single one of the graphic novels. I really enjoyed the artist for the first one. I wasn't too crazy over the artist for the second. Don't know how I'm going to like this third one, but the storylines are really good, you guys. If you're interested in a really interesting storyline, but also some humor in it, definitely try the Derek Storm. Anyway, I have Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll in this stunning edition of the book, if I might say so, which I can because it's my channel. Alice in Verse, The Lost Rhymes of Wonderland by J.T. Holden. Suspicious Identity by Lois Gladys Leopard. Then My Sister Won a Copy of Sizzling Sixteen by Jana Ivanovich. Then I have The Iron Fay box set by Julie Kagawa. The box set itself is absolutely beautiful. And this edition came with The Iron King, The Iron Daughter, The Iron Queen, and The Iron Knight by Julie Kagawa. Now, I've only read The Iron King, so I'm very much at the beginning of everything that's going to take place, but this edition of the box set came with a signed poster from Julie Kagawa. Now, I knew that Prince Ash was on the one side, but I was not aware that it was a double-sided poster till I watched my good friend Maud's unboxing video, and she showed that it was a double-sided poster. The other side has Puck, so I do not know who is going to end up on my wall after I finish the series. But if you guys are interested, let me know and I will tell you guys who ends up on my wall when I finish the series. Then I bought book two and three in the Kisses series by Diane Nam. This is Goodbye Kiss and Senior Kisses. The series follows four youth, two guys and two girls, who end up running a radio station for the summer. Romance blooms, chaos ensues, and it was just a really light, fun read. It was actually my first romantic novel, and I was about 11 when I read it. I bought these editions used, and they came in absolutely amazing condition. And the last two graphic novels I got were Shay's Story and Cutters. These are the companion novels to the Ugly series. They are Shay's point of view through uglies and pretties. And they are drawn more like a manga than a graphic novel. I hope I didn't just spoil you guys for something. Then I bought four novels by Lisa McMahon. I found them with the original covers, so I was really happy about that. I have Crier's Cross by Lisa McMahon. And the Wake Trilogy by Lisa McMahon with the original covers. Wake, Fade, and Gone. I picked up four books in the Barnes & Noble Leather Bound Classics Editions, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, absolutely beautiful, J. 
Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I love the white and silver on the black background. I think it's very stunning. And I actually have not read Jane Eyre yet. I am very familiar with this story. My sister had a ton of things that she loved novel-wise growing up, and one of them was Jane Eyre. And she and I sat and watched every single adaptation together. We didn't like all of the adaptations, but we watched them all. And interesting fact about me, when I was younger, I was a real tomboy, like I was getting in the mud kind of tomboy. And uh, my sister was shocked when I told her that I hated Jane Eyre and I hated Mr. Rochester. And recently, a couple of months ago, my opinion changed with regards to Jane Eyre. So I want to read the story now and see if I like it or not. And my sister's very excited about that. And the last one I got is this lovely edition of To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. This is absolutely stunning, you guys. And I'm so happy to have it in my collection. I have not read To Kill a Mockingbird, but I'm really excited to read it. I grew up watching the film adaptation with Gregory Peck, and I'm really intrigued to read the actual story. High Society by Ali Carter. The Giver by Lois Lowry, another one that I haven't read, and I'm going to rectify that very soon. Impulse by Ellen Hopkins, an author I've never read before, but I'm very intrigued too. Very long book, by the way. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. This is another fae or fairy story, and I'm going to start reading it after I finish the Iron Fae series. Geek Girl by Holly Smale and Ill Wind by Rachel Kane. It's book one in the Weather Warden series, and this sounds really interesting. Listen to this, you guys. The Warden's Association has been around pretty much forever. Some Wardens control fire, others control earth, water, or wind, and the most powerful can control more than one element. Without Wardens, Mother Nature would wipe humanity off the face of the earth. Joanne Baldwin is a weather warden. Usually all it takes is a wave of her hand to tame the most violent weather. But now Joanne is trying to outrun another kind of storm. Accusations of corruption and murder. So, she is resorting to the very human tactic of running for her life. Her only hope is Lewis, the most powerful warden. Unfortunately, he's also on the run from the World Council. It seems he's stolen not one, but three bottles of din, or gin. D-J-I-N-N, -N, making him the most wanted man on earth, and without Lewis, Joanne's chances of surviving are as good as a snowball in, well, a place she may be headed. So she and her classic Mustang are racing hard to find him because there's some bad weather closing in fast. Oh my word, does that not sound really interesting, you guys? I'm really intrigued by this. And this is one mass market paperback that I actually like the cover. I love the background. I said that before. I love backgrounds. And you have the lightning, but you can see it reflected on the side of her car. And can I just say, I want her car. Can I please just have her car? It's a Mach 1. Who would not want that car? If you guys don't want that car, you can just give it to me. I don't have a problem with that. The last pile of books, I have Memoirs of a Gay Ship by Arthur Golden, and I have not read this yet, and I plan to read it soon and then to watch the movie soon afterwards because I'm very intrigued by the story. This edition came with Deckled Edge as well. Then I have Click to Subscribe by L.M. Augustine. Listen to this, you guys. 135,789. That's how many subscribers 16-year-old West Ryder has on his web vlog series, but he only has eyes for one of them. As one of the internet's most prestigious video vloggers, West talks about high school relationships under the name Sam Green. As far as he knows, no one from school, not even his best friend Kat, has seen his videos. But the highlight of the whole thing is Harper Knight, who comes every day at exactly 2.02 in the afternoon. He doesn't know anything about her, aside from the occasional deep philosophical messaging on why pizza tastes so delicious, but as stupid as it sounds, he might be falling for her. So when they finally agree to meet in real life, Wes hopes for romance, seems more and more in reach. But that's all cha 
But that all changes as soon as he arrives at their meeting spot and sees Cat walking toward him wearing the same I Heart Sam Green t-shirt Harper promised she'd have on. To his alarm, West realizes he's falling in love with the best friend who has always been a sister to him. I'm really intrigued to read this, especially because I'm a YouTuber and I'm assuming that this probably has to do with YouTube. I don't know. I'm really intrigued to read it, though. The next one is Fairest of All, A Tale of the Wicked Queen by Serena Valentino. And whoever thought of this brilliant idea, thank you. Ready? Is that not cool, you guys? Then I have Poison by Bridget Zinn. And I didn't even realize when I first looked at getting this it says, can she save the kingdom with a piglet? And there's a pig on the front. I think that is cool. This, I can already tell that this is going to be a really good book. The back says, a recipe for poison. Ingredients, magical kingdom in peril, potions master, flavor feisty, evil princess distilled from former best friend, tiny pignet, piglet with a <laughs> with essence of adorable, handsome ruffian must be funny, charming, good at rescuing, best if smells nice. Blend with romance, add a dash of enchantment, mix well for mayhem and drizzle in humor. Warning, content may be irresistible. It already sounds irresistible, you guys. The next one is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I love this cover of the book. This is the whole reason why I was waiting to buy the book because I wasn't that big a fan of the other covers. I think this one is pretty cool because games, come on. Mm -hmm. Then I have The Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. Tokyo Heist by Diana Wren. A missing Van Gogh painting, a burglarized mansion, a ransom note, two Japanese gangsters on the loose, an unexplained suicide, and two girls who must solve the mystery, save the art, and catch the criminals. The book had me at Tokyo, but the synopsis of what kind of takes place sounds really good, and I'm really interested to read it. Then I have Dirty Laundry by Daniel Ehrenhaft. One undercover semi-celebrity plus one antisocial graffiti artist equal the perfect team to solve a kidnapping at boarding school. Why not? It's not like they're going to class. An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth by Chris Hadfield. A... Oh, hello, Shadow. You always... <laughs> you, you. Oh, she brought a towel. You want to play, don't you? She always wants to play when I film stuff, huh? <laughs> a Monster Calls, a novel by Patrick Ness, inspired by an idea from Sobin Dowd. Now, I'd be upset if I lost the dust jacket to this book. But if I did, I would not be embarrassed to showcase this stunning hardback on my shelf. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Whoever designed it really outdid themselves. And this is what the inside looks like. It's absolutely beautiful, the details that have gone into it. And I'm really excited to read that. Q&A a day, a five-year journal. One that I have had my eye on for a while and finally decided to spend the big bucks and buy it. I thought it was about time I read my first John Green, so I thought why not start where he started and get Looking for Alaska. Hopefully I like his writing. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. We'll see. Then we have Rockaholic by CJ Skuse. Listen to this, you guys. She's got it bad, and he ain't good. He's in her garage. Gonna have to face it. Jody's addicted to Jackson Gatlin, front man of the regulators. And after her best bud Max scores tickets, she's front and center at their sold-out concert. But when she gets mashed in the mosh pit and body surfs backstage, she's got more than a mild concussion to deal with. By the next morning, the strung-out rock star is coming down in her garage. Jody oops, kind of kidnapped him by accident, and now he doesn't want to leave. It's a rock star abducted worth, 
abduction worthy of an MTV series, but who got punked. Does that not sound really interesting, you guys? The next one I have is 1001 Things to Do If You Dare by Ben Malazzo. Now, I got this just kind of as a joke. The next one I have is Dodger by Terry Pratchett. The entire reason why I bought this and, uh, and I am wanting to read it is because of the official book trailer here on YouTube for it. They did a really amazing job for it and it was just enough to intrigue me to want to read the book. So I highly recommend going and watching that book trailer. Then I picked up Past World by Ian Beck. And I love how this book is designed. On the front you've got this gorgeous like poster. And on the back you have like your um... Good girl. On the back you have your advertisement. And it says, lose yourself in the foggy atmosphere of old London. Thrill to an authentic murder scene. Delight in the antics of adorable urchins begging for change. Past World. The adventure awaits. Past World and the Past World logo are properties of the Buckland Corporation Limited. Um, I'm not going to tell you much, but all I know is that these people are living in this old Victorian England, but it's actually called Past World. It's an amusement park in today's time. And people go and watch them, and something ends up taking place and things kind of blow up. I'm really intrigued. I have This is one of the books I've had my eye on for a while. When it went on to the bargain bin, I was like, yes, sold, now. The last two I have to show you are here. The first one is The Ballad of Mulan, retold and illustrated by Song Nan Zheng. It is the English and Chinese version. I've never read the traditional ballad, so I thought it was about time that I did. And then the retellings, they can kind of see where they come in being a good or bad retelling of Mulan. The last book I got was actually released on November 5th. And this is the whole reason why since July I have been putting off buying this book. I have been familiar with the story, the film version of it, my entire life. And finally, I saw this edition and knew that I had to have it. It is The Princess Bride by William Goldman. Now, listen to this, you guys. This is an illustrated version of The Princess Bride. I could be mistaken, but I believe it's the first time they've had an illustrated version. This book is extremely well made. It's very, very heavy. The binding is very well done. The illustrations are lovely, and the paper quality is that it's not the thin like easy to rip pages it's like the thick quality paper and I just I love it you guys now because this haul is a little larger than normal I'm not going to show you the four bookmarks I got during the month of November I will show them to you in my December haul which you'll see near the end of the month because I know I am expecting at least one thing I know that at least one thing is coming um but this is my November haul. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And until next time, go and pick up a random book and read. Merry Christmas, guys.